I'm David Berlin with TechWeb TV, and I'm coming to you from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. And when you think about alternative power solutions, one thing that I have a tough time getting my mind around is how you can just get electricity from water. But here, showing just that concept in action, is a company called Horizon Fuel Cell Technologies. And Taras Vankovic, you're the co-founder of this company, and you're showing some incredibly innovative solutions here that are just powering up these devices that require a normal electricity with water. How that's, do you do it? That's right. This is a, a generator that we've put together, uh, which is basically um, using a cartridge. Mm -hmm. And this cartridge can be stored for quite a long time. It just uses water uh, so to generate electricity. Look, here's the cartridge, and, and there's a, a cap. It almost looks like you know the gas cap on your car. Yeah. You fill this up with water, and then yeah. what do you do? Just fill this up with water, and just slide it into to this device. And it takes any kind of water, tap water? Any water, make... any water. And, uh, it doesn't need to be pure water. Okay, and then what happens next? What? There's an outlet here. If I yep. unplug this, so you have two. You have different outlets. You have two USB outlets and one AC outlet. That you can charge your phones, your iPods with these kind of little uh, devices, and this you can use to charge up even a laptop. Now, one question a lot of people are going to have is exactly how much power can this sustain and over what period of time? Yeah. So, what sort of devices can be driven by this? One cartridge like this uh, can can generate about 270 watt hour of power, um, and um, you you can you can have maybe five of them with you, and that can give you a one kilowatt hour of power. Okay. So. In practical terms, yeah. I have a laptop or I have a cell phone. How many watts does it deliver and for how long? You can actually charge a laptop probably about eight, ten times with mm -hmm. this device. So in a blackout, for example, uh, you, can, you can charge your phone, you can charge your laptop, send emails, things like this with this kind of small device. Okay, and looking at the cartridge, you don't need any power to make this happen, no other batteries or anything like that. The cartridge, once you fill it up with water and use it, yeah. what do you do with the cartridge next? Basically, once you activate the cartridge, you have about 30 days to use it. And uh, after 30 days, it becomes inactive. Mm -hmm. And you just uh, you just give it back to the store, and the store, will, you can get another cartridge in, in exchange. Okay, so it's sort of like you, you exchange these, you, yeah. they're not, you don't throw them away, but you can, once you fill them up with water, which is, I'm assuming, what you mean by activation, yep. then at that point, when they're done, you return it and you, return you get it, another one. You get another yeah. one or you and store it. And how much will they cost every time you get a new one? $20. $20. $20. So yeah. you get 20, for $20 you get about how much, how many hours of power? Out you of get this? about 10 to 14 hours of power or depending, you can even have 20 hours of power mm -hmm. depending what you're actually charging. Okay. You've got another smaller one here. What's this? Well, we call this device the HydroPack. This is the HydroPack Mini. Mm -hmm. So it's a smaller version of this. This is a sort of 270 watt hour, this is 15 watt hour. So here I get about five hours of, of power mm -hmm. uh, to run small devices, so iPod or telephones, things like this. And you would use this maybe to charge your cell phone in That's a pinch. Right. This is what's inside the, uh, the Hydro Pack Mini. This is the actual cartridge, and this is the fuel cell. That's the fuel cell, the cartridge. Both of them are kind of independent. So what the consumer would buy in retail is just the cartridge. So I'm just going to demonstrate how that works. Here's the USB plug. Here's the phone. You can see it's charging. And in this case, you wouldn't fill it with water. You just buy the cartridge as it is. Actually, you do fill it with oh, water. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, there, is a, there will be a water cap here. Mm -hmm. Just uh, put the water in, push the, caps, the capsule down. And when you talk about the fuel cell, yeah. is this a bigger version of that? Is that the guts this is of a, the larger unit here? Yeah, that's the guts of, uh, of this one. Actually, it's, a smaller, it's smaller inside because we use a 25 watt. This is actually a 100 watt fuel cell. Okay, so for, for future, some commercial application yeah. that your company might be coming up with. For larger power, we would, we would increase the size of the fuel cell. And how much would the entry level price for getting into this? I mean, we know it's $20 for the rechargeable yeah. cartridge, but what about for the device itself? Well, this is actually the first affordable fuel cell product for the consumer. I mean, we've developed other products before which were educational or toy-like. This is actually a first portable power product using the technology which enters kind of the, the, you know, the, uh, the, the affordable price. This is about $400 for, a one, for one generator. And what about the little one here? This will, call, this will retail about $20. Okay, well, 
Taras Vankovic, thank you very much. Thank you. According to Vankovic, the product is going to be available in about October, but what they're really looking for is a distributor here in the U.S. to help bring these products to market. So maybe if you're watching this video and you're somebody who's got that sort of distribution, you can help Horizon Fuel Cells do that. Now, if you end up being that distributor, one of the things you might be able to look forward to is some other innovative solution like this one here. This is a fan that's running on nothing but vodka and water, and according to Vankovic, a much more industrial-sized version of this could generate about 50 watts of power. From the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada, for TechWeb TV, I'm David Berlin.